Yo, what is up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an M1 system, like you know those battlegrounds games, like the stronger battlegrounds, do Sukaisen, Dead Ruger, Shenanigans, and the new release around Rampage, and obviously many other games, you know what I mean. I'm going to show you how to make that M1 system. Now, I'm going to show you how I set this up first, then I'm going to go for the scripting side. Oh, before I do that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications bell. Then, uh, yeah, if you like the video, just put a comment down below and tell me what should I show you how to do next. Okay, let's get to it. So in replicated storage, I added in a folder called animations, and then I put all my like corresponding animations here. It's like M1, and I put like the corresponding number in these like. Okay, so my mic uh, literally started like started to not work for just a couple of seconds here. But what I did is basically I added in like um, these M1 animations here, and I put them correspondingly in those like brackets or you know what I mean. Those I don't know how to call. Okay, I don't know what they are. Just get over it, man. And I put them there, and I just named them, like. M11, M12, like in like the corresponding order if which they're gonna be played in when I click. So yeah, that's basically what I did. But I think yeah, that's basically what I did. Finish that. We can go into starter player, starter player, start player scripts. You can add in a script called input manager local script. Then you go down inside that you add in another local script and call it M1. And inside this M1, you call like you add in this. Uh, bindable function okay not bindable event because that's what people do these look different but the bindable function then inside the uh, input manager script here uh, you can say local layers let's just put it all short you know just to make it layers equals Oh, I didn't space this out correctly. Oh my god. I'm already messing up. That's crazy. Game. Get service. Get the player service. This is gonna be a really short video because it's not a really hard script to do. Because these are not that, that hard. Not that hard to like make. Okay, just you just did a copy after me. Then. You just gotta copy what I do, okay? And I'm gonna sp explain what I've done. Mouse equals local player get mouse. All right. Then local M1, which is the script that this M1 script that we put made here. So like here we're getting the player service, as you can see. Here we gain the local player. We're getting the player's mouse. And here, like the mouse is needed for when we check if like the button is clicked, like the mouse is clicked. Then here we're gonna get the M1 script, which is this one right here. So you're gonna say equals script wait for child M1. All right, then we're gonna go below, below and let's say local M1. The F which stands for M1 bindable function that we added earlier inside this M1 here inside this M1 local script. Uh, M1 script wait for child function. All right. After that, we're gonna say mouse dot button button one down no, connect function. Okay. So. And here we're gonna say M1 BF and we're gonna say invoke. What we did right here is we we're gonna listen to when the button is pressed, like the left click. I press it right now. We're gonna connect it to a function and we're gonna just invoke the the bindable function right here. Then what I'm gonna do is I, I'm going to go to the, now. This part of the script was really easy, but we're gonna start going back here and uh, fixing up some stuff later now I'm gonna go to the M1 script then I start again local bindable function 
equals script wait for child function all right like that okay local replica storage plus game service okay storage then local rs animations folder it's gonna is the folder like the animation folder that we have right here this one equals rs wait for child animations all right we can go to this one i'm gonna copy these two so we can make it quicker go here and paste them then we can go local char character equals op character or op character appearance loaded all right um wait then local humanoid equals here character wait for child so here we're gonna wait for the humanoid of the character okay then local animator okay equals humanoid we're gonna get the player's animator here wait for child okay so local I like the basic setup that we're gonna have m ones so m ones perform are like how many m ones have we performed throughout the you can do the first click, it's gonna be a first time one, so it's gonna change to two. Second click, it's two. Second, third click to three, fourth click to four. So right now we're gonna set it to zero, that's, that's the basic one. Then you're gonna say local. And it's gonna check what M1 we are in. So, like, uh, let's say we are in, like, we're, we did the first click, but we are in the first M1. We did the second click, we are in the second M1. Third, fourth, okay, just on and on. Zero. Then local M1 debounce equals false. M1 debounce is like we say, like uh, how much we have to wait before we can perform the next M1, okay? So local combo and so what this is used for. Uh, you for like how much we have to wait before we can do the next like four and one and one combos okay so i'm gonna put it two seconds then local wait before reset now this is how much we have to wait like you know uh in like those battleground games if, uh, if you click after a little bit of time after you click, like it, it ends up in the first click. It doesn't go. It was a follow up with the second animation. So that's um, like how much it's gonna wait for the player that's not clicking for it to reset. So I'm gonna put it at 0 0.5. So bindable function dot on invoke. So we invoke it over here. This is gonna be invoke, and when it's gonna be invoked equals function. Right when it gets invoked, like that. All right. Uh, now I'm, we're gonna work on this part of the script here. All right, and let's start working on it, I guess. So let's gonna say, if not M1 debounce, then M1 debounce equals true. M1's performed plus equals one because it's gonna be one click and current m1 plus equals one so it's gonna still be one click local let me just scroll down for you guys local oh sorry uh, just just do this this animation because we did it there lowercase animation equals rs animations folder find first child m1 and instead of saying m11 we're gonna say 
close brackets dot dot current m1 dot dot all right so this is gonna replace like the m1 animations with uh, m1 we're on so if it m1 the second m1 and i click i will it will play the second m1 like second m1 animation then we can say local m1 track equals animator mode animation and say corresponding m1 anim. next m1 track all right m1 track play task dot width in a way let's say m1 track dot length minus 0 0.1 all right task dot spawn function we're gonna say local uh old m ones equal m ones performed task dot wait wait before reset if old m ones performed equals equals m ones performed then current m one equals zero so if like the older ones perform equals its current m1 performed we're gonna set the m1 to zero so it's gonna restart all right then if current m1 equals equals four then task dot wait and we're gonna wait like combo and cooldown then we're gonna say current m1 zero then m1 d bounce equals false all right so the m1 d bounce is gonna equal to false all right so now we made this whole thing here all right now all right we are done with the whole thing i told you guys it was gonna be really really short oh and also uh, before i join in and test this uh, you have to publish your game so we can change our game settings real quick Disable everything here, and uh, you can just save our game right here. Go to game settings, and we're gonna mess around with the settings real quick. Now, I don't know if these are necessary, but I'm just gonna enable them. I'm gonna go to avatar, and I'm gonna change the avatar type to R6 because the animations are in R6. Alright, now that we're in the game, if you click is kind of lagging you can see that it played the animations of our corresponding m1 animations and we have zero we have zero errors now next video i'm going to show you how to make like a, a dash script you know and yeah uh, i might go on this and make like if like you know like the backgrounds game that has a thing that if you jump and then use a move or click it gets or like the slam down or the uppercut uh so yeah this is working so yeah tell me what other scripts i should make next and don't forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications bell and i'll see you guys in the next video